A new bull market is born. The Nasdaq closed at an all-time high Monday as Wall Street extended Friday's huge gains. Investors scooped up badly beaten shares and fed on energy stocks after major oil producers agreed to extend a deal on record output cuts. The Nasdaq ended 1.1% higher. Its mercurial 44% climb from its spring lows confirmed that a new bull market began on March 23rd. The S&P 500 tacked on 1.2%, turning positive for the year. The Dow soared 1.7%. But SMH Group CEO George Ball says the party won't last. I think that the corporate earnings in 2021 are going to be much lower than anybody's predicting it at this point. Lower earnings tend to coincide with lower multiples. Therefore, I think that recent history aside, the next move of the market is much more probably down than up. Companies that had taken a pounding continued their resurgence, including shares of plane maker Boeing and cruise operators Carnival and Norwegian. Investors took profits on high-flying stay-at-home stocks as the U.S. economy further reopened, They included Netflix and workplace messaging platform Slack Technologies. Shares of Tesla zoomed higher. Sales of its mass-market Model 3s made in China more than tripled in May compared to April.